Hey everybody, my name is Tom Tullis. This is the Tomb of 3D Printed Horrors. And this is just going to be a really quick short video. Um, I've had a number of people contact me in the last oh, week and a half, two weeks, um, that are all experiencing a similar problem, and that is prints breaking away from the print bed uh, mid-print and on their Bamboo Lab A1 and A1 Mini specifically. And this wasn't happening to me, but I had enough customers come to me and ask me about it that I thought I'd look into it a little bit. I tried to replicate it, and what I did to replicate it was just run the prints a little bit faster, and sure enough, I started getting some failures. And what I think is going on is nozzle knock. Now, real quick before I get into this, um, if you would, please click that like and subscribe button and uh, leave a quick comment if you would. That really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. So if you like what I do here, if my videos help you out, please consider helping me out and just do those three quick things. So that said, let's take a look at this. Nozzle knock. What I believe is happening and what I was able to do to get it to resolve my issue when I tried to cause the nozzle knocking was all of Bamboo Studio's uh, slicer profiles have um, their infill pattern set to grid. And there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, my miniatures profile I released, uh, what, two weeks ago now? Uh, it was a previous video on this channel. Also used grid. Grid is good. I mean, it doesn't... Um, you got to remember, infill isn't so much about uh, making your model stronger as it is to give a lattice work for walls and top surfaces to attach to. But we all are using grid. And what's happening here, let's slice this and take a look. This is set to 15%. And get rid of that. And let's get this sucker down into... There we go. All right. When the printer is printing this infill it's going to do parallel lines first and then it does the uh, lines that are at a 90 degree angle well when it does the second set of lines at a 90 degree angle that nozzle is hitting the lines that it printed going at it printed first going in the opposite direction and when it does that it if it doesn't melt through the line it's hitting it and causing your print to break free from the build surface. So the way to fix this is simply go down here to sparse infill pattern and change this to gyroid. Now we're going to re-slice it and let me show you why this fixes it. Gyroid, the lines of infill when, with gyroid infill never cross each other like with grid. As you go up here, the lines, uh, these wavy lines, they never cross. The nozzle will never cross the line of gyroid infill that it's already printed. So from what I can tell, this is eliminating the issue of the nozzle knocking the print free from the print bed. So if, um, if you are experiencing this issue, try this fix. Go to gyroid infill. Um, and if I remember correctly, this does not add to print time. So let's see. With gyroid, it's 1 hour 45 minutes. And let's go to grid. Slice that again. One hour, 45 minutes. So it did not change your print time at all. Uh, it will still work perfectly. It'll do its job just as well as grid infill. I use both interchangeably on my prints. I'm probably going to go uh, to gyroid now for everything on the Bamboo Lab just so I don't experience this problem. Um, but there's no, there's no, dis what I'm saying is there's no disadvantage to using gyroid. So you might as well go ahead and switch over to it. And that way this isn't, a problem for you. So uh, thank you for watching. If you would, please click that like and subscribe button and leave me a quick comment. Thank you.